Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. In this video we would like to share how technology can improve the process to an animal facility through digital monitoring of animal cages. You will experience what a day in a digital facility between a manager and an animal caretaker is like. In the morning the facility manager will check their emails with a full list of tasks generated by the DVC system. Once the manager logs into the DVC system they can check the full list of tasks the system has automatically generated and assigned to each animal caretaker. Here the manager can see 284 tasks were generated and can review how many cages are scheduled per room throughout the facility. At this point the manager can eventually assign or distribute an even task assignment to assure each animal caretaker has an even workload for the day. Once the manager distributes the task, the animal caretakers will receive the list of tasks on their cell phone, a tablet, or a computer. Once the animal caretaker receives the daily work assignments, they are able to set up all their supplies needed to complete their tasks for the day. Streamlining this information is key as it gives staff members a full picture of what the workflow will be for the day. So once the animal caretaker gowns up, they can now go directly to clean side area to gather their supplies. For this particular task, the animal caretaker will only have to change a few cages instead of a full rack. This approach allows the animal caretaker to enter the room with the supplies needed to complete their assigned task. This also reduces the foot traffic allowing the animal caretaker to just focus all their time and attention to the task in hand. So once in the room they sign in to the system and the ACT turns on the readers and places them in the top holder. This allows the system to read or follow the cages when extracted from the rack. Once this initial setup is done they proceed to identify or choose which rack they will start their task. The animal caretaker confirms the rack by turning on the lights as demonstrated here. They can use the LED lights to identify where the cages are located. This especially if the animal caretaker is working in a big room. These LED lights notification can confirm which rack they have chosen. Now the animal caretaker is performing their daily check. The DVC system will not replace the traditional physical daily case check, but it allows you to collect 24-7 data for each cage, something we do not have in today's day-to-day -day operation. Typically, once we leave for the day, we do not have any further information regarding these cages until we return the next day and physically look within each cage. So once the visual cage check is completed, the ACT will turn on the LED lights and highlight the cages that were underlined with anomaly tasks, also called in the DVC system and as night warfare check. And thanks to the data collected at night, we can generate a report. Here you can see how the system detected cage 56 with a sudden hyperactivity motion expressing a huge spike in the graph, like fighting. In this case, since the animal caretaker did not find any visual signs of illness, one can assume it was caused due to increase of activity. For this particular cage, the system detected a hypoactivity, and as you can see in this graph, there was a big drop in activity for the last couple of days. Therefore, the animal caretaker moved the cage to the changing station to take a closer look at this cage. Once the filter top is placed on the top holder, the system will automatically detect that the animal caretaker has opened the cage and is now showing that the cage is registered, showing all the history for this cage. Now the animal caretaker can make a better assessment of the condition of the mice within this cage with a simple touch inspection one by one. Once the animal caretaker determines the findings, 
They can document this information in the system by clicking a sign of sickness. In this case, due to the activity and condition of the animal, the animal caretaker has chosen paralysis. Once this information is registered in the system, all the users set up in the system, like the vet, will receive an alert called animal in trouble for this cage. So now, the animal caretaker has a task to change the dirty bedding recognized by the system. During the initial setup of the DVC system, there is a learning phase of the bedding condition. And thanks to the boards under each cage, we can recognize how much moisture has built up within each cage. Following the procedures demonstrated in this video, the user doesn't need to add information to the system and can continue working to change all the assigned cages until the task is terminated. The system does not only alert the user when it recognizes the dirty cage criteria, but the system can also alert the user based on time criteria. This allows you to set the system to alert you either weekly, bi-weekly, by experiment, or by cage owner to what we call a custom changing protocol. So once all the cages have been changed, all the tasks for the bedding case change in the DVC system appears as completed. The system will also update the real-time status of each task assigned and in the event the animal caretaker cannot complete the task, they can document this information in the system and the manager can either schedule another animal caretaker to complete this task or assign this task to be completed on the following day. So before leaving the room, the animal caretaker now proceeds to check all the active alarm reported in the system, simply underlining the LED light of all the cages with alarms for flooded cage, missing bottle, and low food. Once they confirm the LED lights are on, they can proceed to the rack to locate the cage and alarm as missing bottle. Thanks to the DVC system detection, they were able to find a cage where the bottle was placed backwards, sending the system into alarm. And in the following cage, the animal caretaker is able to see that the water bottle was missing and added a bottle. Once the bottles were added, the system will automatically clear the alarm. In this following cage, the cage went into alarm for low food. In this specific cage, the ACT will replenish the food and place the cage back in the rack. Once the cage is placed back in the rack, the system will recognize that food was replenished, same as the missing bottle alarm. The system will clear the alarm for this cage as well. Thanks to the sensors for the food and water, which are like extra set of eyes within each animal room, the animal caretaker was able to easily detect these cage conditions within each room and thanks to the DVC system increasing the animal well-being. Here the facility manager can virtually check the system to get a real-time information on how many tasks have been completed or how many tasks are still pending. This is also very helpful especially now where most managers are working with a hybrid schedule and at times working from home due to COVID. The system is also helpful in the event of an emergency where the manager can have access to the system at his fingertips from any remote location. So here you will see the vet gowning up after receiving a sick report in the system generated by the animal caretaker. The report was generated during the daily case check with the support of the night welfare checks. Once he enters the room, he can check the system to highlight the slot with the reported sick cage. This allows him to locate the cage where he can now extract the cage to evaluate the animal. 
he will bring this cage to the cage change station to better evaluate the animal condition. So now you will see here when the vet places the filter top on the top holder, the system will recognize the cage working directly with the interface where he can see that this animal was diagnosed with paralysis in the morning by the animal caretaker. At this point, he can confirm the report and decide what kind of treatment will need to be assigned and can document this information where the staff can see the history of the treatment for this particular cage and animal.